Hello, I am going to make a splash screen for our Flutter app. So to create a new flash screen or splash screen or uh, the launch screen, first we will create a new Flutter project, file, new and new Flutter project. Then, uh, then select Flutter application next and give a name. So I will just give now the grocery app, then next and finish. So it will take few minutes for the first time. So once we finish, uh, I will come back. Okay, our app is ready now. You can see this is the first uh, Flutter demo project given by the Flutter team. So we will delete all these things except uh, this first three lines okay then we will create one stateless widget here and we will give the name my app and my app will have uh, will return a material app and material app will have a home widget the home widget is splash screen now we need to create a Splash screen widget here because right now we don't have that's why it's showing error. So we will create another stateless widget it's called uh, splash screen, and uh, we will have a scaffold. And the scaffold will have a body. The body we will uh, make a sender widget, and for the sender widget, the child will be image dot asset now we need to bring the asset here i mean the logo so we will create a directory first it's we will get we will give the name images and uh, i have so inside that image folder we will bring the logo one png file inside the images so now insert images we have this logo file here then what we need to do is we have to open this pub spec yaml and we need to mention that image path here so it will be an asset uh, and uh, okay. make sure it should have one two three space and just open folder so this is this images is this image folder and whatever inside this image folder we can bring anywhere in our project so and we will give the name here images logo.png okay so now uh, let's uh, run the screen run the app and let's see how it looks sorry So then we need to click on this bucket then you can see here once it is done it will show here it is done then what we need to do is then after that we can okay now it is process finished with exit code 0 so that means process finished without any error now you run the project you can run it in a real device or a emulator so here i connected my real device so i'm going to run in my real device now okay now our app is ready here you can see there in the center we have one logo here so until now it is perfectly <laughs> fine so now it says splash screen right so what we need to do is after this logo will show only for three seconds and after three seconds we need to show our register screen or login screen home screen whatever so what we are going to do is in the this stateless widget first we will convert to stateful widget and in the state stateful widget we will uh, init state in that init state we will add one timer so to add the timer you need to import this library dot dot async so now the timer is okay 
then inside the timer you can see if you put the cursor here you can see the timer need a duration and a function callback so we will add a duration here and the duration we will have the property like seconds so that you can you can select up to you so i will select a duration of uh, three seconds and it's mentioned it as it mentioned it's need a function callback right then what will happen is after three days then we have to decide what it has to do so what we need is here is we need to navigate to another page so we will select select push replacement because we don't have want to come back again to the supply screen when after it gone to the register screen so it should replace the spy screen with the register screen then material page root then here material page root then this will have the property of build builder widget so builder so builder so it's a context and uh, it will navigate to our register screen okay so right now we don't have a register screen so it will go to register screen now we need to create a register screen to create a register screen we will make a directory first and i will mention screens and inside a screen i'll create a dark file and it will mention register screen and we will import the material library and we will have another stateless widget called register screen and this one will have a scaffold and in the scaffold we will have a body that is center widget or uh, okay we will have a column inside the column we will have some children and first children will be our image dot asset uh, and we will mention the same path here images dot logo dot png then another this is for just for test purpose then later we will modify and make it more beautiful so i will add another two three uh, text field and this one we will bring to center with the sender widget okay now we need to import this uh, register screen here so what we need to do is we need to import and screens sorry the screen should be inside our lib folder so it should be under lib folder then we can import here okay now it is imported now let's run it again our app and let's see how it work okay it's now restarting one two three yeah it's gone right so now we will make a small effects the effect is we will wrap this image widget with the hero widget and it will it's, it should have a property called tag and tag we will give a tag name logo the same thing we will give here also we will wrap with the uh, hero widget and we will have a tag the tag will be logo okay i will do one thing i will add a padding here with uh, a 20 around okay we will run again restart again and we will see what is the effects now yeah okay 
cut see the same picture is moving uh, it's like a small effects right what it first it will show in the center and uh, the same picture will navigate to next page with the small flying effects so that's called hero widget that's all for now so next video we will uh, modify this register screen and make it a beautiful with the beautiful forms and other functions thanks for watching